In this video, I'm reviewing how the IRS recently announced a two-year delay to 401k catch-up contribution changes. Today's VBOG is being brought to you by 401k Maneuver. 401k Maneuver provides online professional account management with the goal of supercharging your 401k performance. So stop leaving money on the table each and every year in the form of lost returns. That's real money, you guys. Let us help you. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the links to everything that we mention in this video you can find in the description box below. So let's jump right in. The IRS recently announced a two-year delay to the plan changes in catch-up contributions in 401ks and thrift savings plans. The new rule requiring high-income investors to make catch-up contributions only to Roth 401k accounts will not be taken into effect until 2026. This update comes as a relief to many who were concerned they might not be able to even make catch-up contributions should their employers not offer the Roth provision. So keep watching for what's changed and why and what you need to know to plan accordingly for the future. So let's start off by talking about the Secure Act 2.0 and how it changed catch-up contributions. Under the Secure Act 2.0, Section 603, passed in December of 2022, 401k investors ages 50 and over who make more than $145,000 per year have to make catch-up contributions to an after-tax Roth 401k account instead of the traditional pre-tax 401k. And the new rule was set to go into effect January 1 of 2024. And the short deadline had many employers and plan providers scrambling to implement the provision in time due to the complicated nature of setting up a system that would funnel high income employees into making only Roth catch-up contributions. This also had investors concerned if their companies didn't have a Roth 401k provision because under this new rule, investors would not have been allowed to make up catch-up contributions at all. The short deadline originally set forth in the Secure Act 2.0 would have left a lot of investors closer to retirement unable to use their catch-up contributions to save even more should their employers not have the Roth in place, which is not good. Considering the retirement crisis we have in America and that the Secure 2.0 aimed to help more people save even more. Now let's talk about the IRS delays the new rule. The IRS did clarify that they have set up a two-year administrative transition period for the new Roth catch-up contribution requirements, delaying the implementation until 2026, according to the IRS. The administrative transition period will help taxpayers transition smoothly to the new Roth catch-up contribution requirements and is designed to facilitate an orderly transition for compliance with that requirement. The notice also clarifies that the Secure 2.0 Act does not prohibit plans from permitting catch-up contributions so plan participants age 15 and over can still make catch-up contributions after 2023. So what does this mean for you? For now, those who make $145,000 or more who rely on catch-up contributions to bolster their retirement savings can contribute to make contributions or can continue to make contributions as planned in their 401ks and get the tax break and do so for the next two years. This also gives high earning investors time to adjust the retirement strategy in anticipation of this rule taking effect in 2026. Remember, in 2023, the 401k catch-up contribution is $7,500 in 2023, which means you can stash away a total of $30,000. Now let's talk about major SECURE Act 2.0 changes you need to be aware of. There's a lot in the SECURE 2.0 Act that changes how you can save and plan for retirement. We encourage you to reach out to a third-party expert who can advise you on how this new law specifically affects you and what changes you may need to make for your retirement strategy. Before you reach out, please note that the type of advice you receive about your finances may be impacted by the type of advisor you resource for advice. Check out our no-cost guide in the description box below on how to understand the different types of licenses financial advisors have and what they mean to you. If you found this video helpful, please share it with the people that you love, trust, and respect. Have a fantastic day.